Got him. Got him. <laughs> so the Fish Village crew is back together, and this time we're in Louisiana. We're scouting for our next big trip offering, and we've brought in guys from California to Florida to see what this legendary fishery has to offer. Got him. Nice. Got a little bit of wind to deal with. Heart's still kind of pumping. Got him, got him, got him. Yeah. There's one right there, just spooked it. Slammed it. The show. That guy definitely, huh? Dude. <laughs> oh yeah. That's yeah, a good guys. one, bro. We're looking for the full bayou experience, from kayak fishing the back marshes to bow fishing from an airboat after dark. And we'll be cooking up our catches Cajun style. Stirring the witch's brew. Yeah, buddy. For the shrimp oil? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Look right here, right. Big red. Hey! Dude, look at that! Rex Ninja! You right. <laughs> just sniped this redfish! Good fishing, good eats, and good vibes. When it comes to quality fishing trips, it takes a village. This has got to be a good one, man. Shouty thick! Oh, dude, that ain't pretty good one. Oh, yeah, bro! Still pulling out drag. Nice, now Brooks is on. He came over here, cast the point a few times. He's got one. They are stacked up in here. Yeah, baby! Woo! Now we're figuring something out. Another keeper for sure. About six inches of water just pulling around in it. While we never know exactly what to oh. expect on these scouting missions, one thing has remained a constant. We'll all leave here with some stories to tell. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Crazy. And while COVID has shifted some of our focus to domestic trips here in the States, suddenly that's not feeling like such a bad thing. Look at that. We've been watching this fish cruising this shoreline. No water, lots of wind, so we're just having to make do. We got all day. You just get it together, let's go. Oh, dude, that ain't pretty good one. Got him. Fish on. Slay rod. You're in the Brodasia now. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Field Trips Louisiana with Fish Village. Louisiana, good food, good people, good fishing. What more could you ask for? For the sake of getting everything out, right? There's uh, Brooks saying it's supposed to be pretty windy. What's up, babe? Hey, honey. Okay. Oh, I had a horn bit. There you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're in the Brodasia now. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I don't know, should I stand on the thing or just stand here? Just stand there. All right, cool. All right look guys, All right, and girls. Uh, one, one girl. 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 <laughs> girl. Well, it's honorary. I don't know. We got, you know we <laughs> so look, this is, first of all, we're down here. Main thing is we're going to have fun. We all want to catch a pile of fish. All right, so we're going to do our best to do this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all a couple lures how to work them, what you need to do and stuff like that. I've been fishing down here my entire life. I'm 55 years old. You know, we have a wind blowing. Things aren't gonna be up to par, but it will be, it will be good. I believe that we're gonna have good days. Y'all bring enough <laughs> Bring a little Cali conventional style. That's nice. Yeah, you know, you guys don't do too much of this over here, but that's how we that's how we rock. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I'll say no judgment. <laughs> but I'm definitely judging. Please, 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 all you guys, all I'm asking from you guys is when you guys do all the things you guys do, take your pictures and everything. Remember who the people are that made this happen? It's not me, it's not Ivy, it's Z-Man, it's NRS, it's Bugs Fishy, it's Major Chad, it's those guys. Those guys actually made sure that we had what we need. Mike, why didn't I get KY in mine? These <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. I see what's going on here. Yeah, 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 yeah totally. Does that work? Yeah. Here's a popping cord. Right here. Here in Louisiana. Hear that? Hear that? Ooh, you might have a red, dude. That's a red. Look at that. My first red! Throw it up. Yeah, dude. Look at that fish. First red, man. Look at that fish. Uh, Let me teach bug. you the first thing about right, tell me. small red fish. Tell right? me. Talk, talk to me, Goose. Gotta, the, red, the small red fish are pretty. Yeah. You know, they got the perfect coloration. This is a, this is a four spotter. Normally it's just one spot. But, but if you ever catch a small red, the first thing you do is you talk about the tail, okay? <laughs> because you can't talk about the size because it's a baby. Right. Like, oh, look at... So what people do is they do this hyper shot of the tail. Oh, like, up close? They're like super blue. Look at that beautiful blue tail. Anytime somebody talks about a beautiful blue tail... They got a small fish. They got a small fish. <laughs> and they're just looking for content. Congratulations, Right buddy. in the mouth. That's where you want it. One, two, three, four. I mean... Five, six, seven, that's eight. <laughs> no, you're covering up a spot. Oh, hang on. There it is, there it is. I'm sorry. It's a little red. Yeah, I don't know which way he was heading. Yeah, there's a lot of bait. Uh -oh. Spooking stuff in the middle. It's a second swirl, like right in the middle. Oh, uh, I got I got bait like jumping out over here, but it looks shallow. Rex, you wanna try cutting in here? I'm thinking um up a little ways up here, I see birds walking in the middle, so I think that gets real shallow. But I think that looks deeper. I think it might even cut through up here in front and to the right. It may cut back out. But I like this little deeper channel here, so I'm gonna keep moving that, uh-oh. That's what I asked on the radio if they had caught anything. He said, just wind burn. All right, so the biggest problem we're having right now, I'm sure you can hear it, is this wind. It is relentless, blowing like 20 to 30 all day. And we have especially low tides. So there's not much water in here to begin with. And then the wind is kind of blowing it all out of the marsh. So. The real challenge right now is just finding some marsh with actual fishable water, more than a few inches. And we're having to fight this wind while we scout around trying to find it, but we're gonna dial it in, find a good pond in all this marsh with some water. Doesn't have to be deep, a foot of water will do it, but so far it's been tough to even find that. We'll see though, we're seeing all kinds of wildlife along the way. There's a nutrient right there, big boy. Big sucker. Bunch of them around here. There he is. Got my first man. <laughs> this is big old rats. Pretty cool though. Pretty uh pretty Louisiana right there. I feel like that's probably like the state mammal of Louisiana. I don't know. Yeah, you Someone just cruising, not big, but. Huh? There's one up, up here. He just he just surfaced in, in that cove. In there too? Between those two little clumps. 
Oh, I see it. I see, I see it. I see him. I can see his body, bro. Yeah. No, he's, he's too far. It's damn wind, man. He doesn't look very big, but he's still cruising that. He's coming to the corner now. You just want to get one in the boat. Dude. You see him, bro? He's going to the corner right now. Yeah. He's right at that corner, heading, heading to the right. You saw that just flick out? That was him spooking something. I see his back, bro. Got him, got him. <laughs> I spooked him and he, he just chilled right there and I threw it out in front of him, waited for it to get close. Threw it in front of it, hopped it one time. That's on the bugs, bro. Yeah, I got the hook set. Look at that. We've been watching this fish cruising this shoreline back basically out of the water. It's so shallow. We're fighting this wind, it's tough conditions. Beautiful little red, not big, but that's probably a Louisiana keeper right there do the bugs fishing. I, I spooked it with the first one, brought it back, hit him with it. He spooked him a second time and then he was just cruising. And that time I threw it about five feet out in front of him so I wouldn't spook it. And I sure enough hopped it just one time and he smashed it. Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure that's a keeper. Nice. Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah. That's about, that's about a 21. No, no, no. Yeah, Probably like 18. I've made like five casts. All right, mark that gal in the angler out. There we go. First redfish to hand. Hear it. Oh God, oh no, oh no. Spoke too soon. That's why you always leave the hook in. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, there's <laughs> Now we just needed the net shot. That counts as two, I think. I didn't think we'd be side fishing today. Yeah, man. But the sun came out. And the sun came out. This water back here is pretty clear relative to everything else. That, that guy will definitely eat, huh? Oh, yeah, we gotta eat that. 20 and a half. No, 21. <laughs> you were right. 20. On the dot. 21. On the dot. All right, guys. Well, there it is. First keeper red, first red to hand, and it's a keeper. And I got the side caster, which a lot of these California boys, they've never done this kind of fishing. They're out there kind of blind casting, and you know, they, they're, they're running around with the guy at Eric, but Rex and I, we, uh, we just love sight fishing up in the marsh. So we came straight up into here. Little bugs fishing, got it done. I'll take that all day. That's the start of dinner right there. Yeah, they're in here, man. They're cruising the shoreline, so. Yeah, she had nowhere to go, but I mean, I screwed up the first guy. He's the second it landed, she spooked. But then the third time she spooked, she was just cruising, and I just had to sit in front of her, man. That's the trick. Yeah, yeah. I thought I messed it up, man, but she gave me a second chance, and there we go. Well, that was the first red I've seen. And I caught her. That's a good start. Fighting this wind. Let's get some more. Living here in Louisiana is five, so. Just getting started. Got him. Better one. Better one. I just watched his mouth come out of the water to eat that bugs. I saw her. Oh, and she spit it. <laughs> that was that was sick dude she was just cruising on that point she was better dude she was probably like mid 20s 
Oh my God, perfect cast, waited two seconds, first hop. I hopped it up all the way to the surface and I watched her come up, open her mouth and slurp it down. That was sick. You saw me crouching? Yeah, that's when you know. Ah, oh, God, that all went perfect. I, don't, I can't believe she spit it. I can't believe she spit that. Oh. Yeah. Bro, they're, they're, they're here, man. She was just cruising that or up towards that point. God, she was good too. I can't believe she just got off. I spooked him. I got this on that second cast, man, because you're looking right at the sun when you see them. Then they spook, but they're only spooking like a few feet. Yeah. If you got the nerves right, you could make that second cast and get on them. On the bugs? Yep. I just lost the fish right at the boat, and now uh, Rex has got his first keeper. We're, we're on him over here. <laughs> Down. Yeah. I literally, he just back out the water coming around here. Yeah, dude, they're all skinny against the grass. I got me one, uh, but I don't have a stringer. Love those tails. Oh my God. That is a gigantic alligator gar. Oh my God. That was a huge fish. Oh, that was a monster. Guys, I just had about a six foot, maybe seven foot alligator gar come up and gulp air about five feet away from my kayak, right in front of me. Big fish heading your way, Rex. Whoa, that was wild. I don't know if I caught that on the GoPro or not, but that was a six or seven foot alligator gar, probably about a hundred pound fish. Just came up and gulped air right in front of me in this little channel, man, it must be, there must be more water back here than I realize. I've hooked those guys before in the marsh on soft plastics. I have half a mind to try to fling a cast. It might get real interesting here. There's no way I'd land that guy, but it'd be a wild ride for a minute. But I got this wind. The second I stop pedaling, I'm flying back. literally as skinny and as shallow as possible in these little back back pockets.
<laughs> I barely have time to sit down my camera and uh, literally just, I didn't even cast, I just dropped it in its face. Like it's already hanging out on the string. Whew. Fish is in the boat. So if you're fishing and filming, I swear, there's always that moment when you're like, I should record this. And this guy was crawling out of the water. So I pulled out the big Sony cam and uh, I don't even know if I got it. But at some point, this fish was within like six feet of me. And uh, I had to put the camera down and just drop this lure right in its face. <laughs> number two for today the water's so dirty you can't really sight fish them they have to, to show themselves the only time you're really seeing them is if you've got like a if you're on the leeward side of a shoreline where it's calm and, and the wind hasn't like mucked it up yet still kind of heart's still kind of pumping A lot of work man I almost got stuck but you know in the corner of your eye you see a little little bait flick little weird ripples you gotta stand up and investigate so that's really the strategy today just just gotta go find them the double wide with girth brooks now nah, we're cruising in style. We got the old double catamaran. Now nah, we talking, bro. This is working way better than I thought it was going to. So right. What up? Howdy. <laughs> That's, I was, really thought I was about to get stuck one time. All right, back at camp. Cleaning fish, getting ready to cook up some dinner. Great day out in the marsh. The weather's beautiful right now. Of course, the wind stops now that we're done fishing. This is for the shrimp oil? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stirring the witch's brew. Yeah, buddy. Holder. It's about to go down. Ooh, the Louisiana shrimp bar. We caught a handful of redfish today, and we decided we're going to go ahead and pull what we call marsh chicken, which is the throats. So that's the section a lot of people throw away. It's going to be right underneath their head. It's just a little bit denser meat. It's a little bit different texture and flavor, and it really helps you utilize more of that fish. We call them saltwater quail. The collars. Oh, this is not this is not COVID conscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that, put that on there. Pretty much the bridge was dropping and then started going back up at the end. I feel like they quit fighting them. It was good while it was good and then it wasn't good. Oh, yeah, like Joe's in competition with me over there. Oh, oh man. Shit. That's all. <laughs> That's. Yeah, I'll just pass it. I'll just pass it. I'll just pass it. Was swimming today. That's cool. It'll be my first time. Looking forward to it. Yeah, man. They're delicious. Sweet. Cheers. That is delicious. Where'd you get your pit at? Woo! Throw's my favorite part. All right, so what are you doing with this? So I like to like split it with my hand. I just use my fingers, but you can use a fork. But yeah, kind of split it open, yeah. And just eat all of it, all of it. There you go. Yeah. There's a couple like tendons and bones, but it's good. It's got like a different texture. Yeah. First time eating redfish? Yeah. Legit. Like it? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, you know what? The whole concept of it, the, the, the fat, the skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not something we normally do, so. On the half shell, bro. Oakland, Louisiana. I learned that here in Louisiana. It's, I continuously 
have life changing, changing moments here. <laughs> it's like the sixth meal I've got here. Yeah. I'm like, slap your mama! I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know, man, there's a seasoning called slap your mama. It's from Louisiana, no joke, it's actually <laughs> really? really good. Are yeah. you serious? Dead serious, yeah. Okay, well that, you did not plan that. Yeah, man. Get you on the pro staff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stuff's so good. All right guys, a fun day out in the marsh. We're gonna do something a little different. We ain't done for the day. We're about to go bow fishing here at night on a couple of air boats. We got like 10 guys, five guys in each air boat. This is something that most of these guys have not done. I have not done this out of an air boat. Should be an experience. We're in for an experience. We're trying to show these guys the full Louisiana experience bow fishing here at night out in the marsh. I think that qualifies. Coming up next episode, we're heading deep into the Louisiana marsh in a pair of air boats to try our hand at bow fishing after dark. And while the learning curve is steep and none of us are in our comfort zones, we're not going to let that stop us from having a good time. Go on, go up. Coming at it. Coming at it. Coming at it. Right in front of that 12. Over. Right there, look. Right in front of the boat. Right here. Right here. Yo, he's right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My arrow's bent. Right, uh, right to his left. Hey, he's still here. Bro, get him, get him, get him. Right over. No way, I missed that. 